Well, Nicholas, 17 years old, second Junior Grand Prix season. Last year was 17th in Ljubljana Junior Grand Prix. This is a very nice young man learning to skate and compete on the Junior Grand Prix. Skating to Trainwreck by James Arthur. Seventeen-year-old Nicholas Van de Viver from the Republic of South Africa. Nicholas looking a little bit disappointed with that skate. Let's talk a little bit about his skating because I've watched him over the past two seasons. I love his stretch out, reaching out in performance. So much improved from last season. So much power and passion. Improved basic skating skills. Short on successful repetition in practice i would say you need to be successful at almost an 80 percent rate in order for that to be automatic in competition even if you're a bit nervous so if your percentage of success in 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 practice isn't at the highest level it's hard to replicate that in competition i kind of saw that in this skating here so powerful and so strong but not totally organized and coordinated yet 
Yeah, the words that I had written down to Ted, passion was, was one and speed another and positive to draw on. And interestingly, chatting to his choreographer, Luca Demat, who is with him now, he was just giving further backstory on the challenges that are faced. And his coach, Lisa Stigant, works with him back home, but it's so expensive just to get here. So his, his coach isn't here. And then the ability to have the program choreographed, that was done online. So Luca worked on WhatsApp with them. So it just gives you... Yeah, again, backstory and, and awareness of how much more challenging it is for some of the athletes to prepare to compete at this event. It's not like Nicholas has you know, the chance to work with his choreographer on a regular basis or even in person. Yeah, that's an amazing story to choreograph online. But and and good for Luca. He also uh, Luca works at a uh, ISU Center of Excellence, and we thank him for all his work on on a number of those videos that you see. In fact, as well and. To be creative and innovative and help developing countries and skating, to work with them online, you know, outstanding. And and, and this young man, Nicholas, uh, is so kind and so nice. Mm-hmm. And I see improvement, uh, but you know, uh, you know, it's it's a difficult road because you don't have as many as much ice time, and certainly you're not surrounded by as many skaters as well. So it's a bit of a challenge. But that's what it is on the Junior Grand Prix. And as you say, the ISU are doing a great job. And indeed, Nicholas given a scholarship to train in Bergamo at the Centre of Excellence there. So there's support and there's desire for, for so many sources. So many people want to see this lovely young man succeed. And I saw him at breakfast this morning and he just gives a good, positive energy. Yeah, he he just has a good vibe yeah. with him. Yeah, you kind of could just hang out with him and chat with him. He has, has a really interesting look on life, and he's very articulate. Mm. And, uh, and you know, you can see the desire to master this sport in him. He's got it. The passion's there, and it's elusive at this time, right? Maybe more successful probably in practice, but it's elusive in competition, and that's always a little bit frustrating. Absolutely. But... Uh. Uh, you can just see the the reliving. Yeah. You can't can't buy it back. That's the the challenge. Yeah, yeah, and a strong, really strong young man. But you know that strength has to be used in with timing in pair skating. Think, oh my, the men must be so strong. They lift the woman above them, and blah blah. blah. It's really timing. It's, strength is important for security, no question. But strength doesn't do it alone. It's the technique and the timing of things that work. So when it has comes to a jump. And I remember what it was like for myself. I was also a rugby player, so I just thought, well, just throw yourself. You know, it'll be <laughs> fine. But it's the timing, the technique, and the organization of the body parts uh, that make it work. I'm <laughs> just thinking about myself. I wasn't a rugby player. I wasn't necessarily strong. And I still just tucked myself into some of the jumps. So, yeah, easy. Well, I think the brain just went, hmm, faster, higher, you know, huck yourself, and it'll work out somehow. I hope for the best. Exactly. Yeah, but, you know, it takes... That's why I think people fall in love with the sport as skaters. Because it's so difficult. Mm. It's so so many failures, thousands of failures for every success that you have. That when you get that success on an element that you felt was impossible before, it's such a joy. Yeah. You say, okay, what's next, right? Absolutely. And it's addictive. Yeah, and I mean, gosh, if you think about the acquisition of a new jumping element for every one of the skaters. So Nicholas here... He had, we know we can do triple toe. We saw that in the short program. Maybe working some of the other triples. When you land the next new triple, the jo- the elation of landing a new jump yeah. is, is oh my gosh, it's like a drug. It, oh, I don't know what it's like. What yeah. dogs are like, but I imagine it is. <laughs> Again, so it's such a you know great, exhilarating feeling when you've accomplished something you thought previously was impossible. Yeah, I and love uh, Nicholas the kiss and cry. He was. Moving his hands around like an Italian. He's working with an Italian <laughs> page. Come on. It was all, it was all, you know. This choreographer is having an impact on him. Both on and yeah, off the here we, Exactly. Here we go. Scores for Nicholas. 56.45. That's second in the free program. The total competition score of 93.74 for Nicholas. That puts him currently in first place. Listen, young man, you've got lots of ability, tons of passion. Keep working. Keep working. 